Okay, this is the deal. Um, I've got a car with a flat battery, and I'm going to try and jump start it with this, which is a, a model plane battery. Uh, it's a three cell lithium ion uh, polymer battery, which means these things produce about ooh, 12 to 13 volts, but they can take monstrous currents. So these things will typically take, you know, sustained currents of 30 amps or something. Okay, so set up here we have our plane, our battery, and that there is a little ammeter, voltmeter, such that I can actually read what the hell's going on when I'm flying the plane. So, let me get the radio on. That. And wire this guy up, arm the plane. Hey man, there we go. Which tells us that we have 12.7 volts. And if we now, there we go, I've set up some stuff such that you can see the sort of thrust the plane can produce. Now it produces about um, a kilo of thrust, which is about two pounds, which is not bad for a little motor like that. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Full thrust. <laughs> Okay, so that's the sort of um, thrust that the plane produces, and if we want to take a look at the current it produces, <laughs> so that was peaking out at about 40, 40 amps. And of course, that's my little. So I can read the display when I need to. So yeah, um, battery like this can produce about 40 amps at right, 12 volts, which on paper is enough to start a car. Um, whether it will or not remains to be seen. Now the story of the car is that, oh, about three days ago I, I lent it to a guy to take a gill out on a date, and he cleaned it, which was jolly sporting of him, but... Um, Unfortunately, he also left the door open, which means that a couple of days later, I have a flat battery. Now, I do have, or I did have a jump starter, but um, that died some time ago, so I, I salvaged the leads off it, um, and have you know, put a Dean's connector on here. Now, obviously, this is all fairly cherry rigged, so you've got to be very careful that those don't touch, especially when it's all live. Right, so let's go up, it's up the car, see what we can do. I guess I'm probably going to need both hands for this, so let's just put the camera down for a second. And, right, the red is of course positive. You can be very careful you don't touch any metal work with the contacts, otherwise not only will you get a fairly impressive light show, it will screw up your batteries. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, red is on positive, black is on negative. Uh, leads are fairly distant from anything metal, it's all plastic. Right, and now let's connect our battery up. And you're going to make very sure that, in this case, um, uh, oops, going to make, uh, yeah, sure that you're not touching anything metal, and very sure that you don't wire your batteries are back to front, otherwise they will, yeah, it's a burst under flame, but okay, baby, make me proud. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, you've got to be fairly quick with that. Um, uh, these things are three cells, so they're not designed to take charge. Yeah, you charge the cells separately. Uh, not, not down there, but that's. Not even even slightly warm, but just for as to show you the sort of now I, I, I won't short out these, um, but I did yesterday, um, and that's the 
char marks that you get out of just sort of shorten these things out. Oh, my poor car. You sound like you're in. Oh, that's better. Well, something's slipping until it warmed up. Anyway, right, so I'm going to leave that now to uh, charge the battery. So anyway, yeah, I'm about to start in the car with a three-cell lithium-ion polymer battery from a model airplane. <laughs>